Although you are eternal in the technical sense, because God has always wanted children, you were actually a new spirit when you began your incarnation in this present world. Therefore, you can't be a fallen angel as some have incorrectly speculated since you didn't spiritually or physically exist except as a desire in God's heart before you got here. The sin of Adam, which attaches to all men, doesn't prove you're a fallen angel either, since it wasn't your own doing. The sin of Adam merely designates your state of grace as a human being from God's perspective until you are raised up in the life-giving spirit of Christ and become a child of God, which is the glorious angel God wants you to be. Every time you send a father or mother to prison, you create more crime because their children have a greater chance of doing wrong since they don't have both parents around to help keep them in line. Your unmerciful response to their parents' indiscretions only makes things worse by repeating the cycle. Reversing the trend by showing some compassion is the only way to turn things around and make things better. You are called to be one body in Christ the true religion, one God, one mediator, one people, one lamb, one baptism, one father, one Lord, one spirit, one law, one faith, one temple, one hope. Having God as our Father gives us a personal relationship with Him that is much more satisfying than if He was only an impersonal God who created us. Sin caused us to fall, so in essence, we have bowed down to it as if it's an idol. As long as you continue to believe that a woman has the freedom of choice when it comes to abortions, you are to be considered a murderer and therefore you may not enter my kingdom because murderers are not welcome. As long as you continue to be a racist, you are to be considered a murderer and therefore you may not enter my kingdom because murderers are not welcome. A scriptural reference to an angel can refer to either the message or the messenger. Rather than ordering you to burn all the 66 book Bibles, I'm going to instead ask that you find a way to attach the seven books 
missing to them. You may order them from us as an insert at a fair price. There is only one true family. There is only one true religion. And there is only one true church that God has chosen to lead us into the new world. I'm going to bring everyone that is meant to be in the kingdom of God into full submission as one to him. With only one in a thousand people joining us, I will have an army that numbers seven million strong. With the skills I'm learning in Toastmasters, it shouldn't be too hard to get one in a thousand people to stand firm to the truth with me. If Mary is good enough for Jesus, then she should be good enough for you. Everyone that joins our Kingdom of God group gets a free house. A really nice one. The deal on the free house is this. You receive the right to live in a free house as long as you proclaim that Jesus Christ is your Lord and Savior, and you agree to purchase a set amount of merchandise and services through us each month. The house, which will be constructed by us, will be worth a hundred times what you spend on average each month. For example, if you purchase $1,000 worth of merchandise and services each month, you will get to live in a $100,000 house for free. The product and services we offer will be completely, competitively priced with what is offered from other sources. However, instead of just putting the profit in our pocket each month, it will be used to build the houses we need. It may take me a few years to make good on all the promises, but I will do it. In my father's house, our many mansions. If God were to annihilate those who have been perpetuating evil, such as Satan, it would completely get rid of evil. However, the eternal covenant he established with them when he made them eternal cannot be broken by him, which is why evil continues. God knew that some of us were going to turn evil when he made us, but he figured that it was better than not making any of us and being eternally alone. 